my friends who are inviting you to the great wedding. Why are you they're inviting you not to heaven. Oh, God. They're inviting not you to be to with God what? so that you don't die in your sins and wake up in the horrors of hell. Where there's the worm dieth not, that means you gain no comfort. Where you're in torment and you're in outer darkness, just the way the Bible describes hell. It's not a fun place. It's not a place that you get a second chance. It's not a place where you get a do-over. It's not a place where you cease to exist. No loving God. My friends, we warn you today. We encourage you to come to Christ. Come to Christ. I have already come. You have to come to Christ. The bride and the bridegroom will gather together on that great day. The bridegroom is Christ. The bride are those who trust in Christ. Why won't you trust in Christ, my friends? You know you'll die. You know you'll be judged. You know you you cannot escape God. You can live as if He doesn't exist. Romans chapter one says, although they knew God, they suppressed the truth of God. That's what people do on the college campus. That's what the, the that's what the teachers do. They don't want Christ to be released in this place. They don't want Him released. You know why? Because you will not be under their authority, and they are not the authority. Christ is. Christ is the great authority. Christ stands in judgment over all of us, and without Christ right now, you are guilty. You are condemned. So do you think judged guilty. Do you think so, beat off of the whole? so the reality, my friends, is you have an opportunity to go. Turn, trust, and follow him. You don't have to go like this anymore. You can just like... So Jesus said, go into the main roads and invite to the wedding feast as many as you can find. This is you. The Bible speaks yes, of you today. We're inviting you to come God to Christ. I do not want There's no other way to God except through Jesus. You need to come to Him. Your religion won't save you. Your community service won't save you. You know how many people come up to me who are college students today and say, I, oh, I'm gonna come to him. I go to the food shelter and I feed people. I'm good. That doesn't make you feel bad. You don't have people. My friends, it's not what God. you do, it's what you believe. The Bible says that does not say believe to be saved, it says believe. You should be doing be this saved. instead. So those things that are in essence they won't save the world of God. you. They won't save you. So Jesus said, go to people like you. And it says, those servants went out into the roads and gathered all whom they found, both bad and good. You need to find them all. Some of you think you're okay. They all need to find God. Safe today. They need to find Jesus. But what you need to realize, my friends, is none of us is guaranteed tomorrow. Statistics tell us 160,000 people die every day in this world. Over 160,000 people. They're going to hunt you guys down after not me. We have this little I'm cliche portal. we use with people sometimes. Most people who want to search for Jesus at 1130 will die at 11 p.m. You I think at the end of your life, away, yeah. after you've lived for yourself, God is oh, going to give you some time to investigate him and maybe even come to him. You but need to come to him. God not only knows. You're not a baby. You need to come to Jesus. God not only thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. So he's the only way to God. This is an eleven dollar microphone. Go ahead. You want to say that? Jesus said, "You want to repeat after me?" Jesus said. Jesus said, "I want to keep it." I am the way. I am the way. The truth. The truth. And the life. And the life. Eternal life. And the life. Eternal life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. In other words, eternal life. He meant eternal life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Yeah, I come to the Father. <laughs> you see, Jesus spoke in terms of exclusivity. That's why I say now and said earlier that Islam can't get you to the one true God. That's why Catholicism can't get you to God. Because they add that a man must do A, B, and C. That's why Buddhism can't get you to God. That's why any ism won't get you to God. Because Jesus said he's the only way to God. He proved he was God by living without sin, dying for sin, and rising from the grave like no prophet ever did. Jesus spoke like no one ever spoke. When Jesus spoke, people listened. And you know what happens in the case of this conference? Some of you are listening today. Some of you are convicted of your sin. Some of you know there's a no. day of judgment and you don't know how to get no. to God. But no. we tell no. you, my friends, no. No. stop no. behaving. Believe. No. Stop trying. Believe. Trust. My friend, it's not what you do that saves you. God's great plan of salvation has to do with what Jesus has done for you, not what you do for God. No. My friends, that's the good news. Why is it good news? It's because no one command their way to God. Why are you being friends Jesus with sinners? Has. They're all sinners. And so in this Stop story, the servants went out into the oh, roads, gathered all they had found, both died and good. So the wedding hall was filled He's with right guests. There. Now here's the end of the story. This is what you got to get. When the Bible says good and bad came to the wedding feast, some people 
who thought they were good enough entered into the wedding feast. And then Jesus says something about this. He says, when the king came in to look at the guests, he saw there a man. On everyone. He saw a man who he had no wedding on them. He wasn't dressed appropriately. He, he was did naked. not have what the Bible calls righteousness. We would call it a robe of righteousness. In other words, you weren't declared righteous because of your faith. You are actually thinking you are righteous because of your good deeds. You see, what sends a man to hell is not, not faith, but good deeds. Your good deeds will send you to hell unless you see yeah, that you're not be sufficient. Bad. You see, be this bad. Is, this is good deeds will bring you to hell. This is what bad makes people from Christianity not. unique and distinct from every God. religion. Every religion will tell you to I try your best Jesus to be good. I in a bad way every night. But biblical Christianity says it's not based upon what you do. It's based upon what you my son has done. Jesus. Salvation Jesus is, is really the Lord. Jesus is the Holy Spirit. Jesus does man. the work. Jesus has four more holes than your normal man. Do you, you know a lot of Catholics will use this word, especially during Easter time. They'll use this word. Father, into thy hands I commit thy, thy spirit. But you know what they forget to say? This other statement of Jesus. Jesus said this. It is finished. When Jesus said it is finished, he was declaring that he had done all the work to save a man. And so this is why we come to you. This is why we go out into the harvest. You are the harvest, some of you, of God. This is why we come to the college campus. You've been invited to a wedding feast. But if you think that your righteousness will get you in, you will hear these words. The king said to the attendants of this person who, th who did not have a wedding garment, a robe of righteousness, he said this. Find this man, hand and feet, and cast him into outer darkness. Now here's our fear for you, some of you. Some of you think that you, you can earn your way to God and that your own goodness will get you to him. And Jesus is saying in this story, in this parable, that you will be bound and you will be cast into hell because you never trusted alone in Jesus.